This is the kind of thing attorneys for the man want stopped. 24-hour news media stakeouts in front of his home. Police keeping a constant watch on him. Attorney Mary Welcome warned reporters last week to keep clear of her client or else they could expect to be hauled into court. Today, Welcome took the first steps in that direction. She filed a complaint against 11 police agencies, several top local officials, and 17 news organizations, including WSB-TV and ABC. Welcome says her client's Fourth, Fifth, and Sixth Amendment rights have been violated. We have been bombarded with publicity, uh, pre prejudicial publicity on, on behalf of our client. Um, he has not had um, sleep, proper sleep. His health and well-being is, is suffering. Um, his rights, constitutional rights, uh, are being jeopardized. And even though uh, the First Amendment is number one, the freedom of speech in the press, um, there are some other rights that are just as important. Welcome is asking Judge Arinda Evans to stop police from leaking information to the press, and she wants an order restricting the news media from reporting everything that they learn. Emory University law professor Howard Hunter says it's a case of competing constitutional rights. The case that comes to mind most readily is one involving a photographer named Ron Galella, who made a something of a career out of uh, following Jackie Kennedy Onassis around and, and taking photographs of her and, and her children. Other than that, there's very little authority for an action like this, particularly because it involves a prior restraint on uh, news gathering activities in public areas. There'll be a hearing on the complaint Monday morning. It will be behind closed doors in the judge's chambers. An attorney welcome would like to see a court order telling everyone involved in this case to keep quiet. From the Richard Russell Federal Building, Dennis Kauf, Action News.